Hey guys, Robert and Ingrid here, and this was something that we should have done long ago. You, mm -hmm. And Ingrid and I, you, you and I have both talked about the unmade Godzilla movie that never got made and unfortunately became that 98 abomination. Mm-hmm. Um, but and it turned out someone, and I think I might have showed this in a prior video, but we're going to actually go over it properly. This is a comic adaptation of the final draft of the unmade script. Fan named Godzilla 94. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, let's just dive right in and see what could have been. Mm-hmm. Just give me a moment. Godzilla. Oh, that would have been awesome to open it that way, wouldn't it? It would have. But yeah, 1993. As we're open up and they're coming across this um, weird iceberg. Sound familiar? Oh, yeah. But when they get there, something goes kablooey, and then there's this we weird red, orangey stuff. It's, uh, But they're like, snow can't burn. It can't burn. It's bleeding. The Earth is bleeding. They're, they don't know what's going on. Well, we see this one scientist wake up, wake up um, him and his wife and you know, his little daughter. And she's saying, like, um, yeah, how soon? Yes, I could be ready. So she and her husband are heading out there, leaving their daughter behind um, as they're picked up. And I like this, how they clearly went with some actors in mind. I don't remember exactly who this actor is. Mm hmm Oh, man, just slap the cuffs on me now and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, kind, uh, kind of late for you to be up, isn't it? I'm old enough. <laughs> you know, just a little <laughs> bit of humor. Yeah, but, yeah, um... Yeah, I'll be fine, Dad. Go on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, originally, yeah, that's the um, the daughter. Now, originally, she uh, yeah, she was originally much younger in earlier drafts. Hmm. This one, she's much older. Right. Or to be for the sake of the comic, who knows? Because originally, there was going to be a 12-year gap. Ah, oh, okay, then. Understood. Yep, um, but yeah, they're giving a radiation patch, and they're going in underneath... And, yeah, they find this red ambiotic fluid stuff, like a womb, as they describe mm -hmm. it. And when they're there, look at him. Oh, boy. 247 feet. And you can tell he's just out, out of it. Mm -hmm. And they're realizing those are teeth. But then he starts to wake up. And yeah, Kreong! Instead of the Screong. Yep, what's going on? Mayday, Mayday! Yeah, and he just busts out of there, and I believe, yeah, he killed, unfortunately, all those down there, including the husband. The wife is fine, but it barely survives. That should have killed her! <laughs> mm hmm. But then this nearby um, fishing village. Oh, just look at that, right? Mm hmm Just stomps through, and in this version of Godzilla is an omnivore. He will eat trees, fish, anything. Makes sense. Run, run, run! And then, oh, I think they probably decided to, instead of doing a 12-year gap, just have, it be, just have it be a few months later. Or right. one year later. But yeah, they're now looking in to trying to find out about this fishing village. And, oh, that's clearly Robert Patrick. That's the one actor I could recognize. You know, T-1000? Mm -hmm. From Terminator? Yee. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about, right? Vaguely. But anyway, yeah, they're giving a bit of a um, description. You know, they're talking with some people and they find about, um, yeah, like dragons. Gojira! Have we ever indexed that name? No, wait, yes. It was in 1928, translated as the character as Godzilla. Wow, look at that. The adversary looks like an, an Eastern version of the mythical uh, griffin. Hmm. So, yeah, meanwhile. Oh! Oh, yeah, nice, cute little doggy. Yeah, all these animals are starting to act weird. They don't know what's going on, but something comes crashing down. Mm -hmm. um, 
Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, nearby, back in Utah, all of these animals are going nuts. Frogs are tossed all over the place. All of these animals just come raining down. Mm-hmm. Damn, I hate weird shift. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But basically, yeah, they're now offering, you know, people in the government are offering others jobs to help. Um, oh, and yeah, this, your doctor... Lee, Lee Wen, that was the woman from earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't know if she, he does, she doesn't know if she's being replaced or anything. Um, but yeah, basically, she's been working on this ever since that day. But she wants Godzilla dead for obvious reasons. Yep. And, but, um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's the daughter. Wow, look at her being rebellious, right? Yep. <laughs> but yeah, it turns out this probe, it goes underwater and soon lands in this cave where it finds all of these different bats. And it absorbs them all and makes giant, these monstrous versions. But yeah, meanwhile, they're looking around where Godzilla was and they're trying to figure out, yo, what, or what all this stuff is. They, again, they're trying to look through all of these legends and everything. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, they're finding a bunch of this other stuff. Now, remember, Toho had just given them the rights to Godzilla, so there's not going to be any reference to Mothra or anything. There's no plans on Mothra yet. Mm-hmm. So that's why they get an original creation. But, um, yeah, they soon find um, they're brought forward and everything. And then those bad creatures are gathering up all these other monsters, like a puma, grab it, bring it there, um... A, a, a poor cow drow, drowns. All this crazy stuff is happening. Then, meanwhile, then Godzilla, up. oh, just swallows a boat whole. But oh then, boy! But then, this one doctor falls head fallen into the fluid, and when he comes out, he's changing. Oh boy! Something weird is happening to him. And no one's no one's known what it's like to fall into that fluid. But yeah, Godzilla, meanwhile in the Pacific, is just swimming around, and we're getting actually a good detail of him swimming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, they're following Godzilla. Something is causing him to be more active. But and they're but they're ready for him. Again, a year has passed. They are ready. Mm-hmm. Godzilla versus the military. And he just keeps on coming. But they soon have a realization that ambiotic fluid kept him, um, kept him, um, you know, stationary. Mm -hmm. So while they're attacking, they're getting ready to utilize that stuff on him. And they, so they start spraying it. It takes a little while, but, um, eventually it does start to work, but he's still building up all this other energy. Because he knows what that stuff is and he doesn't want to go and get knocked out again. Especially when he senses the adversary. Man, just look at this, right? Wow. Yep, just oh, this big action sequence. But they're trying to lay him back to that fluid because he's been trying to stick away, uh, get away from it. But he falls into it, and he slowly, slowly starts to collapse. But like I said, and, and but yeah, look at this. He's only as big enough as to lay on the Golden Gate Bridge, whereas in the MonsterVerse version, he was bigger than it. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, look at that. Wow. Oh, we got stuff going on with, in a church and everything, but um, sure enough, that dog is running around, and uh-oh. More of the bats are starting to grab her up. Anything, anything to add. And sure enough, um, like I said, see right there, they're just adding any bit of DNA, anything to it, to make the ultimate weapon. Now, of course, we find out she really wants him killed, but they want to study Godzilla. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, like, we'll kill it later. Oh, and, whoa, look at that. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, look, but yeah, look at that doctor guy. He's now become this alien creature. Saying that mm-hmm. he's had a weird dreams about Godzilla. He's here to fight the adversary, the Griffin. 
You have to find him. You have to keep looking. Keep looking. Now, they say goodbye, Marty, but he ain't dead yet. Oh, man, just look at that. This would have been, this is wow, right? Wow, indeed. And very 90s, though, right? Indeed. But, yeah, again, she just wants him dead, and everyone just wants to study him. They, it feels like, oh, but, yeah, there's Tina again now. She looks different again. What's going on with her looks? But, yeah, she basically tells him, like, um... I lost you. I, I lost you. And you, uh, you I, I know you lost dad. I lost you both. Basically, she feels like this isn't right, mom. Yeah, there. And, mm -hmm. and oh boy, look at him again. Oh boy. They yeah, basically, because they can't speak, they're speaking through him and saying the alien probe lands on a world, creates a beast out of genetic material. That world de designed and to kill. Not Godzilla, another. A doomsday beast. So, yeah, and eventually um, they're still trying to figure out about the creature, and they're trying to say, like, you can't kill Godzilla. You can't. And then he finally dies. Mm hmm. Oh, man, just look at all these. Oh, they say, like, rate doubled. Because <laughs> they think, like, let's look around through here. But look, there it is. Before these, and, oh, geez. Snakes for, t for tongues and all that until. Wow! How would that have been for an original villain for Godzilla face? That would have been awesome! And then Godzilla's starting to wake up finally because he's been away from the fluid for so long. Mm-hmm. You set of a... But then the griffin is starting to make its, its attacking. And eventually... Um... Oh, come on, get back there. They realize they're going to intercept. And so that's like, uh-oh. Tina is unfortunately trying to call for mom, can't get through. But yeah, it's all happening in New York. Mm -hmm. It just destroyed the Statue of Liberty and perched on the pedestal. Ah, gotta love a bit of landmark destruction. Yep, and just, wow, look at this. This would have been epic, especially in the 90s. It really would have. This tells you fans knew, these were fans writing this. Mm-hmm. Just wow. Yeah, so uh, here's their fourth ID today. Wait, what the? There's ah! <laughs> all this insanity going on. They're trying to contact him saying, you know, what, what, what we can do to help. They also realize that Godzilla doesn't have his full power because he still has a bit of that ambionic fluid and a, neck, a thing on his neck. Um, again, they're trying to do anything they can to stop it. But once they take out that um, thing on his neck, it's then uh, he's now at full power and just starts wailing into him. Oh, yeah, it should be important that Godzilla was artificially created by ancient humans. Oh, that is interesting. But they realized they couldn't control him. That's why they sacrificed themselves to put him in the ambiotic fluid. But yeah, and then, again, they just I split up a good fight. Uh-oh. Oh, that was the um, Robert Patrick guy. He gets eaten. Ah! Ouch. Oh, man, just look at that power again. A beam of war. But then Godzilla really puts up a good fight. But then it does something no other Godzilla's done before. Turns out his dorsal fins are a weapon, too. Nice. And slices right through it. Yeah. I mean, like, that makes That's sense. Good, yeah, we've always seen the energy go into his fins, but we never, but we never seen anything done. Mm-hmm. And he starts shredding it apart, grabbing the head. It's still barely alive. He kills the body, blasts the head, and, talk, and impales it on one of the, built, the tower, remaining towers of the Brooklyn Bridge. I mean, yeah. He lets out a triumphant roar. And um, Leo Wei basically tells him, no, don't kill him. And then as they're heading out, one last roar, and that would have been the end. All right. Why do we get that? 
Why didn't we get that? That was an amazing movie concept. It would have been so unique for a breath of fresh air for Godzilla stuff. Problem, though. This would have been right after Jurassic Park. So what would they have utilized early CGI that would show that could have been possible, but you know how expensive that would have been. <sighs> and Sony, they felt like, oh, yeah, we got the rights to Godzilla, but really, is there a big, huge demand? And you got to remember that. Far as Godzilla was back then, it was still niche. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, and unfortunately, eventually we got the 98 version. And we remember, remember how much of a mediocre pile of nothing that was. He's in as a regular generic monster, but horrible as Godzilla. Mm -hmm. This, though, this felt like it was in what, what, kind of like what we got was the MonsterVerse. It really did. Fortunately, it's like that spirit ended up... It was just... It was a concept that was made before its own time. I exactly. think that's the best way we can look at it. It's just like, eventually the MonsterVerse would come, and it's just like, these ideas are good, it's just it showed up a couple of decades too early. Exactly, exactly. But it's just like, this would have been phenomenal. This would have been amazing. The Griffin was a great villain. I'll be honest, give me the Griffin over the Muto anyway. Any day. Yeah, we might want to save that for our future renditions of how we might continue the MonsterVerse. Exactly. It's just, wow, this was just so amazing. So incredible that, you know, just... Mm -hmm. mm. But again, well, and I thought Stan Winston came up with a great design for what American Godzilla could have been. Sadly, that never got used. And it's probably lost, fading away, you know, wasting away. Mm-hmm. But at least we got this to sort of remember, hey, this is what could have been. And maybe someday this idea will more properly get to come to life. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe someday, hopefully. But until, but until, but I'll be honest though, in a lot of ways, this feels like what could have been if the guys who directed King of the Monsters directed the 2014 Godzilla instead of Garth Edwards. Perhaps. And nothing against Garth. He did a great job to get it going. And when you think about it, even the idea of someone loses a loved one at the beginning, and then we have a time skip and they're obsessed. Mm-hmm. Happened in the 2014 version. Yeah. Well, at least they survived here. But again, there's, there's some ideas, though, like they obviously had to make Godzilla small enough that they could carry him and move him around to study him and everything. Some of these elements are very 90s, wouldn't you say? Indeed. And that's why I think the 2001 never went that route. They're not going to go that route where it's like, oh, we should knock Godzilla. We should be capable of knocking Godzilla. I was like, no. Not with no. how big he is in the MonsterVerse, no. It's similar to my complaints about the anime trilogy, but he's not that stupidly big. Mm-hmm. Like, he's big enough that you can't see humanity stop him, but he's not so stupidly big that you can't think anything, you know, nothing can stop him. Yeah, it's just a fine balance. Because, I mean, look what they eventually did. They made the Mechagodzilla, who was bigger than Monster vs. Godzilla. Mm-hmm. You remember how huge he was compared to him, right? It was, like, towering over him. Oh, yeah. I remember that quite well. Which, of course, humanity would, of course, make something bigger. They would think bigger is better. Nope. Well, in that case, they were close, at least. Indeed. But, yeah. So, that, that just truly wraps up our Godzilla talk. Because there's so far no real big talks except from that Apple Plus show, which isn't a movie. But we may cover that show whenever it comes out. Given yeah. how the, the Skull Island show is up in limbo and given the stuff at Netflix might get canceled. Yeah, that's just, that's a whole nother garbage fire for another day. Yeah, but for now, I mean, and I think it's decided we're going to hold off on the rest of the Godzilla vs. Power Rangers until it's done. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. Yeah, because otherwise it'll be, this one is a decent length because, well, we kind of breezed through it because it was more action-packed. Yep, they didn't lie about the whole 200 pages of monster action thing on the front. Yep, and yeah, so that, but so next time we ever talk about Godzilla, it's not going to be for a while. Next time we're going to talk about Kaiju, it's not going to be for a while. Mm-hmm. 
as much as we love it, it's good to vary things up for a while. Yep, and I think we'd rather get to some more down-to-earth level type of stuff. There's a couple of things we can go over. We could go over RoboCop, Terminator, who knows? Maybe we can go ahead and circle around to some old classic James Bond. Oh, yes. I have the entire set. Hmm. We have that. Maybe. Well, we do have Multiverse of Madness coming out, but you and I could talk about that off screen. Yes, we can. Until then, everyone, we'll catch you all later.